Alright everybody, welcome back to the Mo uh, to the Mofa project. I hope you all ha uh, had a lovely day today, because, um, you know, here it is only rain. Rain, colds, and uh, ugh, shiverings everywhere. I mean, really, it is, uh, it's a quite a good, good place to be at, but uh, <clears throat> it's not always the best place to go at. So, uh, ow, 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 ouch. <laughs> I uh, woke up today with a big giant stab in my uh, in my shoulder blade, so that's lovely. Uh, apparently, I've been slapping wrongfully, so oh, I went to bed wrongfully. That's that's more like it. Word for it. Um, so today we're gonna be fixing up um, this thing right here. So we're gonna create the eggs, and then once we have created the eggs, we will color them in as well, giving the feeling of uh, you know satisfaction upon that. So today we're going to be working on those eggs and uh, once those are done uh, we will start uh, thinking maybe we can able even able to uh, create them properly. So that's what we're going to be aiming for today. We're going to create those eggs and uh, who knows where we're going to end up. But uh, yeah, eggs it is. It's going to be good eggs, it's going to be big eggs, uh, it's going to be some eggs. That's for sure. So these are the eggs that we want. These are the eggs that we're going to go for. And I need myself, I need some good old-fashioned pictures of eggs to make sure that this is done properly. Um, and why is this? Is because of um, eggs and I want just eggs. And then we want drawings of eggs because we want to know how the hell people draw eggs? Uh, probably not, you know, the, the best way of looking at eggs. Like, for instance, here, right here, like, oh man, there are a lot of eggs here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of eggs. It's just, you know, that way. But uh, no, we don't want those eggs. We want cool looking eggs. We want, like, you know, Easter bunny eggs or something like that. Or something that makes the eggs more special. Let's, uh, let's put it that way. Like... There are a lot of eggs that we can go for, and that's true always. It's just, you know, that, uh, you know, these eggs, like, oh, hey, Humpty Dumpty, there you go. Uh, but some of the eggs, like, ooh, some of the eggs are important to look at. Like, for, oh, wow, um, like, for instance, these ones right here, the wooden eggs, they, they look lovely. Even though there might be wooden, they they look still good enough for all the stuff to be considered quite well. So, um, I think we're gonna go for that kind of idea. Like, you know, we're gonna add in some stuff in those eggs, and then, you know, we're gonna move on with. So, we're gonna go first for the sketching part of it, and then once that is done, uh, we will uh, get it to the part where we want it to be. Eh. So... These acts, how do we get them uh, properly done? Well, first things first, we need to go to our original idea, which is pencil two, I believe. And that is this one here. Now we want to go to 3.6. And then we want to draw the egg. So we want to draw this egg from the bottom up to the side. Yeah, yeah we want to draw from the bottom up to the side. So. We want this egg to be like this. This is a good egg looking egg, yes. Oh, am I not touched red black probably? Yeah, I did. So now we have that, and now we can say like, well, we want to make sure that that is not fully done. So now we have this one, and now we can do it properly, all right. So we have this egg that needs to be drawn in, so we're going to go for this. And then we're going to lay it down. So we're going to draw the egg and then we're going to draw the grass above it. So that way, so this is actually, you know, an egg that is going to be drawn underneath the, uh, it's, there is going to be an additional grass layer underneath it, so that's how we're gonna do this. So now we have the egg. Um, 
something like so. We have the egg now. And this egg will be serving us for whatever would need we need to be or whatever we want to do with it. So now I need to look at the color blending of the morphog to see any unique patterns. Or we can go for the hypnotic wave kind of feeling to it. So that is a good idea. So we're going to go for like a hypnotic wave kind of feeling. So we want to go for like, you know... This kind of feeling. And then go upwards. Right there. It's a little experimentation right now because, you know, we need to figure out, like, how we're going to do these acts, what we're going to be representing with these acts, and how we're going to represent them in the drawing itself. So we could even go for, like, you know, a very sharp egg, but, you know, that would not work properly. So we could do that. We could go for a sharp egg-looking thing. So we could go for, like, this kind of feeling. Like, uh, and go for this right there. And this way, you know, once we're doing that, the egg will look much more easier than before. So now that we have, like, an idea of what we want, we can say that this is, like, you know, the idea of the egg. So what we could now do is, like, combine the brown with the red. Therefore, you know, implementing that it also has that energy sparky kind of feeling to it. So it has the spark feeling to it, so yeah, let's do that. Let's go for that, like, let's go for that and then, you know, move our way up. So we want these eggs. These eggs, of course, don't look like eggs right now. They they don't even feel like, you know, the right amount of things. It's just sketching. So therefore, you know, we should not be worried about too much of the issues that we have right now. Because... Um, the more we do this, the better it gets. That's the main idea. Ooh. So yeah. Once we get to point, once we are done with point A to point, or once we're done with point A or point B, this thing will actually work quite well. So no worries there. Yeah. It's just a little bit of a hassle, sometimes. Especially when you're trying to do something like this, and then, you know, fix it up. I should definitely uh, get rid of this bit right here. Yeah. There you go. Now we can see stuff. Um, this one can also be down. Yeah. Now we can see stuff. Yes, all right. So now we just need to move upwards. All right. 
right. So now what? Well, we don't want this then. We could remove that. Yeah, that's a good idea. So now that we have done that, we can now get from point A to point B. So we need to lower this down, and now we can get started on the real thing. And then that should be it. Or at least, you know, that should be finally it, the way of how we're gonna draw this. Excuse me, I'm uh, having sometimes a little bit of trouble of getting my head straight. So, there you go. And this will fix it, which it's going to be doing. Lovely. Now the question is like, how do we want to do this? Well, we don't want this to be on the side. We want this to be red. So we should implement the kind of pattern that would work for the birds to recognize. And then we don't even want like a lot of red. We just want like tiny shimmers of it. Like that. All right. Now we can continue, and now we need to do another one. So this one right here is one, another one. So, how do we do this? Well, the first thing is first, we need to draw the line that we have, which is like this one, this big one. And then we're gonna go for this line right there. Awesome. Now we're going to go for this, and now we can go for this one right there. Hmm. Yes, so now we have this and now we can get, uh, this is the red line, so therefore you know we need to make sure that this looks natural, so we should fill it up. So there's another red line there. And the rest needs to be filled up with lines. Uh, I want this to be like this. Yes, like that. All right, now we have this one. Now we have these lines that need to be crackled but less crackled. And that should be able to fix the uh, the line that we have created. All right. It's like, you know, making a talisman or a mandarin. I don't know how to talk, call these things again. It's the word in Dutch that is called mandarin. Yeah, I think that's the word, Mandarin, yeah. A Mandarin circle. I think that's the word? Probably. The Mandarin circle is normally a thing that, you know, uh, uh, it's like, you know, having always the same thing at all the, t all the places and have, like, weird or very hypnotic patterns. I think that, you know, that will suit this thing actually quite well. All right, now we're going to go here, and now we're going to go here. This will create the effect that we want. Then we're going to go for this, and that one. Hmm. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. But I do want this one right here. And that one right there. And this one right there. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Now we're going to turn it around a bit. And we're going to get this one. We're going to save, though, because this is a very delicate one to work on. So, um, right now we're going to be working on this part. Alright. Um, like this. Yes. And then this one. Alright, good. So, now we're going to go for the line that needs to be drawn. And then we need to draw the big line. Which is like this one. Right there. Now since that we have that, we need to draw the red line that is hypnotic, the crystal line. And now we can move on to the rest. So we have the inner circle right here that needs to be drawn in. I'm gonna go for like this kind of feeling to it. And then we're gonna go for hexagon. We can go for that. We can go for this kind of feeling to it. Yeah, that looks lovely. That looks lovely. So now we can move on to the next one. So we can now move backwards to this one right here. Safe. Always saving this time. Because we don't know. We don't want to know what's going to happen if we don't. Oh, perfect. We found already the line that I want. Uh, so this is like a big one. So we're going to go for like this. Then we're going to go for these two lines, which create this one, that one. And then we can go for breaking up breaking that up into multiple lines nice and then this should be the one line that can crack that one open with this one combined and then we can leave this one and here yeah, we can leave these two open all right so if we now look at it it does already look a bit like an egg. It's not fully yet an egg because it lacks sh shading and shadowing. But it does already look like an egg. That is already a good part. Well, it looks more like a flower than an egg, but it doesn't matter. It's They are eggs. So once we're done with this, we will. Uh, once we're done with this, we're gonna add a second layer of detail to this to give the feeling of like you know the, these these two these eggs are like robust. They're like crystallized a bit, and then you know a full outgrown being can go out of it. So we want a crystallized feeling to it. We want. Uh, uh, there you go. Oh, I need to close the window. I need to close the door. Yeah. Um. The main reason why I close the main reason why I closed the door is actually because of uh the piano in the background. That's not gonna be helpful. All right. Um. There you go. Get this one up and running, get that one up and running, get this one up and running, and this one up and running. And as we do this, we should be able to get towards the idea of what we want to go for. There you 
Right, now that we have that, we now need to make sure that this is also looking correct. Oh, this is going to be taking a long time. To get these eggs properly done. But in the end, it will work. That's the main idea. It will work. It's just really, and I mean like really hard sometimes to pull off. Probably. Then this one, this one, that one. Right. No, almost. They almost look like real. Uh, they almost look like real eggs. That's good. But then we also need to add the same realistic detail to it. And that's going to be the one that's going to be taking the long run. That's going to be the hard one to do. I mean, ish, the main problem with those things is always that the, when we're doing the semi realistic effect, uh, the crystals are going to be probably being very, very easily uh, looked upon. It's like, oh, but that's just a minor detail, yes. Yes, it is a minor detail, but it is a very important one, this one. Because if we if we screw up the X, then you know the belief ah, the believability will be uh out of the question. Ouch. Mm. Note to self, don't sleep on one on one shoulder blade. Absolutely worst. <sighs> worst idea ever. Sleeping on one shoulder blade and then you know Having it locked down for one day, it's no fun. It's a no joy. Or at least, you know, it didn't bring me joy. Probably will bring more, more people joy, but not me. There you go. And we're almost done by this part. And the more we do this, the better it gets anyway. All right. Mm. 
Dagger. There you go. All right. Uh, now we need to get this one up and running. This one up and running, and then that should be it. And yes, I know that I have not done these ones, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Just hold on a sec. It's a quite exhausting measure of, uh, you know, fe feeling and seeing like, ah, well, I need to do this one, I need to do that one, and then, you know, following it up, making sure that the drawing looks nice. And there you go. So what did we do? Well, we did the thing that we needed to do, and that is this one right here. Did we forget anywhere? No, we did not. But now we need to fix the the lines on it. That is such a hard thing to do. All right, now we can get to the part where we need to be. So now that we have done that, we can now add a second layer on top of this. Because now that what what we did is actually you know adding the the line for it. So if we now look at this, we see that there is an egg. Yes, there is an egg laying on the ground. Not fully properly, properly done. Because this is an egg that is not fully. Well, it looks more like an acorn. Eh, eh why not? <laughs> Let's keep the shape. I like it. And you won't see the shape too much because of uh, uh, the grass around it. Probably, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it does fit. It does fit. It does fit. Alright. Doesn't feel forced. Feels a little bit natural. Alright. what we're doing now is actually fiddling in the the marks on the on the egg to give it a feeling of you know being a crystal this uh oh well making it a feeling of feeling an egg the only downside of this is uh 
that it is a little bit of a delicate thing to do and that's why I wanted to not do this on the main layer this is why I wanted to do this on the other layer uh, at all times that one is confusing as hell let's start with the bottom line first then So what I'm now doing is actually coloring it in with gray. Giving it the look that I wanted to have. And then once the uh, once the color sets in, you know, all of this will, you know, lift up into the into the sky uh, once it is all done. And it does give, you know, a nice little feeling to it. So now we can also see like ah well because this egg is not fully round, uh, because this egg is not fully eggy, uh, we can add some more details to it. And there you go. Alright, easy. And we don't have to uh, we don't have to go for like you know a lots of detail. We just need to you know we just need to have this feeling of that it is an egg. Oh well, that it is you know this crystal kind of egg that these birds lay. See the skills. Yeah, see the skills. That would be a good idea to realize it. Like, you know, you, you see skills of a lizard. Well, you know, imagine that on an egg. Like, you know, a scaly egg instead of an aggy egg. It gives the feeling of, you know, that there is something behind it or something like, you know. It gives it gives the feeling that it is like not a very smooth egg. It is like a very rough diamond. And since that we are dealing with a morphog, I think that that is actually quite suitable. It's like a, it's a rough diamond in the egg. You want these eggs? Well, you want these eggs because they're valuable. They're quite precious. They look nice. They look nice on somebody's place, and they uh, and the beast itself is actually a very dangerous kind of animal you know it can zap you to the ground and i must say to myself it's it's quite a it's quite a thing all right so um there you go Ow, 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 ow. So, yeah, my uh, my right arm is absolutely not working today, but uh, luckily, you know, we're doing just working on X, so it should be a decent, a decent experience, nonetheless. Especially since we're taking it slow. We're like, you know, we're working on making these X look nice. And that's why we're doing it on this layer and not on the original one. Because if I if I fuck this one up, nobody's gonna see it. Mm. Because if I remove it, nothing happens. See? Happens, nothing happens. So yeah, if I fuck it up here, I I don't have to deal with that shenanigans. Be like, oh, I need to be making sure that the, that the eraser is not, you know, screwing me over. Yeah. Preventing that uh, situation from happening is a uh, is a big yes in my book. So uh, yeah, working on a different layer to add the details to the drawing, even though you know it's uh it's just you know adding some little dots, little steps right there here and there, just to give that look of a of a rough diamond. And it it might look it might be like you know. A rough diamond, like, you know, a rough diamond that is made out of stone and then some parts of it shine out of it. That kind of diamond. 
uh, is then a opal crystal? Probably. It's then probably it's then just a crystal. But yeah, the feeling of you know that you're you're trying to look at something that is you know not fully you know a full crystal is also a thing, and it is a round thing, and it does suit nicely in the uh, in the environment once uh, once we add all the things into it, like you know. Once we add the whole grass to it, it will look nice. It will look nice and it uh, will feel nice. And, that, and that's what counts. Of course, we need to do this in the most uh, gentle way. So not to overrule or cause too much of a hassle. When it comes to the detail lost. Because we don't want to do it like, you know... We want... We want some detail we want we do want to have the detail in it we do want uh people to see that you know oh man that's a very detailed crystal uh, crystal egg yeah but the detail on the crystal egg needs to be in in such a case that it doesn't overwrite everything it does need to overwrite a tree though so eh. that's the thing that it needs to do so that's the thing that i want to make sure and I don't think that's going to be happening, overriding the tree, because of the tree's uh, big, giant ass detail in it. But uh, um, if we can get it on par with the tree, it should be fine. Also, having this rain in the background in my in my in my uh, in my uh, room is like, ooh, it's like tic tac, tic tac. Yeah, I was never a fan of tic tac. I always lose because everybody was choosing cheese instead of uh instead of toe. Yeah. Probably that's not how you play tic tac toe, but d there was a game back in the day where you had like, you know, you had cheese and salami, I believe. And uh yeah, you needed to win by having tree of a kind in one direction. And I always choose salami. I don't know why I choose salami. It was like, oh man, that's so great, just pull, putting a piece of salami down, and it's like, ha, eat shit, mouse. And then I was like, yeah, there you go. I won against a mouse. I feel so much better. So, yeah. There you go. All right. And right over here, yeah. So yeah, the more the more I do this, the better I get it, of course. But you know, Marfolk is always taking like a very precious amount of time with all the damn things around it. It's like, oh, you want to do the you want to do the background? Well, congratulations, the background is like this. Technically, it's like this. This is the background. This is how much you need to do. And it's like, um. Yes, yes, I need to do that. No, let's just focus on one tiny little piece of the of the environment and then move on further. Because, you know, you don't want to get overwhelmed, you don't want to get overstressed, you don't want to, you know, see, you know, you do want to see it all happening at the end, but you don't want to be bothered with it like, oh man, I need to work on another grass today, dang it. No, no, no! You need to work or You need to work with it. You need to be like, "Oh man, I need to work with grass again." Great. Then I can also do that little tree over there and fix that little bit of piece right over there. Well, while I'm at it, you know that that's the mentality that I'm always going for. Like, all right, if I can just fix this tiny little bit right there, yes, and then you know go over here and then there, and I think that will be my goal for today because I'm probably gonna be like an hour our spending on concentrating on fixing it so therefore you know i have my i have my stuff well spent and then you know everything will be fine at the end and that is how how normally my ideas my thoughts go like ah well i need to do this i need to do that fine i'll do it but i want composition for it like you know finishing uh, most of the background i will probably go for uh, a lot of uh, uh what is it again oh mm, uh, yeah probably gonna get some buy some uh, lovely sweets at the end why because i actually finished some parts and i'm very proud of it you know 
promote uh uh no not promote um be gen be happy for yourself get get things done make things work uh how do you say that uh give give you some gift 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 yourself something as a celebration ah uh, there you go give yourself some uh, give your uh, gift yourself something as a celebration to become better at it or make uh make more progress later on because at the end you know the only thing that matters is that you're getting it done and 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 you know people always say like well uh well, this needs to technically be done by next week or next next month, and it's like, yes, true. If you wanna if you wanna rush this kind of project, <laughs> good luck. I would not recommend it though. You're gonna be walking in so many problems that you're gonna be like, um, I have no idea where to start, and then you know you're gonna get lost in your mind and thoughts and still not be able to finish it. That's why I'm always like, who. If somebody requests this and I'm like, you realize that this is going to be probably taking me like maybe a year or two. Uh, if I, oh, maybe, maybe a full year uh, if I, uh, if I don't record it. Maybe a year. It could always go faster, but the time span is like, yes, a year I would probably be reasonable here. And why is that? It's because of the amount of stuff that's inside of it. It's like, whew, all the detail that needs to be drawn in, all the detail that needs to be called in. Yeah, that takes a long time. Also, the recording causes a lot of things to happen because normally I will be working way faster if I don't, you know, speak to people. Therefore, you know, things go faster. Therefore, the product will be placed. So I could say like, ah, oh, well, how how fa how much faster it goes? Um, I would say like hundred percent faster. Yeah, probably. If I would not have recorded this, then if I would not have been, uh, you know, recording it and uh, working my way to getting all the stuff done, I would probably be now at probably already the second tree or the fourth tree. Yeah, probably. So I would be already almost done with the background. If, of course, I would not let myself go from the limit. Because, I'll tell you, I am not a very good person to know my own limits. Well, I know my own limits, but it is not like, you know, I'm Jay, I am not a very reasonable person when it comes to those things. Like, oh, you got to work now. And then, you know, I have to work. Because it is like, you know, a thing that I want to do. So... Now this now this lovely egg looks nice. This lo lovely egg look nice. Does this egg look nice? Yes it does. Does this egg look nice on the background? Yes it does. Does this egg look decent enough? Yes it does. Does this egg look nice with grass on it? Uh-huh. Come on. Uh no. We need to remove this one. Yes. Does this act look nice in the background with the grass on it? Yes, it does. I like it. Mm -hmm. Me too. And then we have like, you know, a color. We have this. Yes. This, this act looks like a good representation on the drawing itself. And I like it. Now, what we could do is like, you know, doing a copy paste kind of idea. And it's like, oh, why don't you just copy paste it? Well, that's not how it works, mate. If I want to do this copy paste, that would be like, you know, cheating for myself. So, um, today we finished one act. Probably going to be tomorrow we're going to finish another act. And then the day after that we're going to be probably finishing another act. Because these acts need to be done by gentleness and kindness and full concentration upon my end. Therefore, you know... This is probably a little bit uh, a little bit shorter than the other ones that normally are because well you know I need to focus on this and it takes a lot of brain power it's like yeah later on so probably going to be laying down and rest after this so um I hope you all have enjoyed and uh, thanks all for watching and I hope I'll see you all next time until then I want to wish you a lovely day and uh, bye.